the unilateral Russian twist is a progression of the Russian twist. You're only doing it on one side. So grab a weight that's challenging. I've got a, a medicine ball. You can use a medicine ball, a dumbbell, a kettlebell, um, anything that's challenging. And just as a reminder, a Russian twist is when you go from one side, you tap, and then you just go to the other. You can either have your feet on the floor or you can balance, lift them up. So that's just, that's your refresher of the Russian twist. So this is the unilateral or one-sided Russian twist. Um, I'll start with my feet on the floor. Toes pointed up because if I want to go into balance, all I need to do is just lift them. So I don't want to rely on my feet too much. Anyway, just hold that ball or, or kettlebell or dumbbell, whatever weighted object you have in your hand, and just go to the right only. So it's, and then stop at your knees and repeat. So it's a very sm much smaller range of motion than in your Russian twist because you're just doing one side. Make sure you count or time while you do your reps and do the same amount of, um, either same amount of reps or same amount of time on the other side. And again, if you want to challenge yourself, lift those feet up, balance on your butt, not your back. Make sure your back is not touching the mat. So, again, there you go. So, one side, um, do 10, 15, 20 reps, whatever you want to do, or 30, 45 seconds on one side, and then switch into the other side the same amount of time or the same amount of reps on the other side. Um, enjoy those. Those are a great way to add variety to your Russian twists.